here's what I got for you today. Um, I am standing in the bathroom in my basement. Um, so right next to my basic basement workshop uh, in my house, I've got this bathroom. It's a pretty basic bathroom. Um, but one of the things I want to add to it um, that we didn't do initially when we built the house is I want to put a towel rod up. It's an easy project. Uh, it's, an, it's very easy DIY. Uh, so right behind me here is a piece of section of wall. Um, the sink's right over here. So um, I should have put a towel rod here already, actually, because I have to go all the way into this room um, uh, and open that door to get in behind it to use the towel that's on the shower rod right there. So um, that's what we're going to do today. should be pretty easy. So this is what I bought. Um, I got it from uh, Home Depot. And it's very simple. It's just like white, um, real basic kind of towel rod. Um, but this is what we're going to put up. It's a 24 inch. That's what my other one is. That way it'll match. So one thing I wanted to show you is how these things actually work. Um, so what you get is you get two end pieces like this, um, like you see here. And then you just get a rod. This one's square. Some of them are round. And um, it just gets, uh, it just slides in there. Um, it's supposed to slide in there. It's kind of a tight fit, but... Um, there you go. That's it. So, um, really there's no mechanical fastener between the rod and the two end pieces. Just where the end pieces are screwed into the wall, that's what holds it in. So the end piece, you know, looks kind of like this. It's just a cast metal part. So it's open in the bottom, but it's got a set screw right here. If you can see that. And, um, what you do is you mount, you get this metal piece with it. You mount this to the wall. Um, so it's, flush like the wall would be right here and these two little wings sticking out and, uh, and this thing goes in there and uh, kind of like that on the wall and you tighten the set screw and that kind of locks it to it so um, so what this means is these are the things that you mount uh, it's pretty important you get the spacing right because that uh, square rod has to fit in between so we just got to screw these things to the wall uh, to mount it and then we just use the set screw to mount these things so in the package you get uh, uh, four screws like this because there's two per bracket to mount to the wall and then you get this kind of anchor um, this is a plastic uh, anchor you put it in the wall tighten that screw into it it expands um, I personally kind of hate these anchors they don't in my experience they don't hold a lot of weight so like on this towel bar if you know somebody pulled on it kind of hard um, you end up pulling this anchor right out of the wall. The best thing, if you're going into a wall, is to drive your screw into a wood stud that's behind the drywall. Um, however, uh, you may not be able, where you, where you need to mount it may not align with the stud, and if that's the case, you need to use an anchor. The kind of anchor I prefer uh, is this kind. Um, this is just another kind of drywall anchor. Um, uh, this same screw will fit in there um, for the most part. These are kind of generic. You can get these at the hardware store. Uh, these are just got a higher um, higher weight rating. Uh, but you don't want to jump in and use an anchor like this because um, if there is a stud behind there, this won't work. It'll hit the stud and the stud will be in the way. So for the most part, you need to make sure, um, uh, find out where the stud is in your wall because if there's a stud where you want it to be, well, drive your screw into that. It's got to go into the middle of it, and if there's not, you want to make sure this misses the stud. Okay, got it together, and where it's going to go is right here. Uh, just about right here where I'm holding it. That's where I'm going to put it. Um, so, really, if there's a stud right in one of these areas, that'd be great. may not be. That's what we'll find out. Okay, uh, this is my stud finder that I use. Uh, pretty simple little device. Uh, it, it, uh, you hold it up against a wall. Um, and you push this button and, it, and you slide it and it will it will locate uh, where the studs are behind the drywall so uh, they all work kind of different but you pick a spot where you think there's no stud you kind of need to start with a space where there's no stud in behind it and you push the button down and hold it and you just move it and And see it's finding something right there so let's go past it see and it went away so you can tell there's a stud right in there see that I can come in from either side
from either side I can tell there's a stud there. So really the studs right in uh, this area right here and um, the studs right in this region and that's kind of right in the middle of where we're going to put our towel bar so um, definitely can't use that stud. So there's that stud, not going to be able to use it. Nothing over there and uh, where this towel bar is going to go, it's going to go up nearby where this door is. Okay, it's finding another one over here and again that's that's past this door all i did with the stud finder was i determined where the um, studs approximately were if you want to find out where they are exactly you put a little mark on the wall each time you're approaching the stud and it beeps and then the center between those two marks is where the studs located um, don't make the mistake with your stud finder of thinking that where it beeps is the edge of the stud. It's not. Suffice it to say that it detects the proximity of a stud within the wall. So if you come into both sides of it, like, you know, come in this way and then come in that way and you put two marks, they might be like six inches apart. And um, if they are, you just have to find the center of those two marks that are six inches apart and that'll be the center of the stud. So that's how the stud finders work. We don't need it though, because all we did is we made sure the studs aren't where we want to mount our towel rack. So we're just going to use drywall anchors then. In this case, there's a towel bar just like this right in the next room. And um, since there is, I measured it. And I'm going to put this one just at the same uh, spacing um, from the ceiling, just so it lines up. So I just put four marks here that'll let me find the center real easy. And then I'll just erase the marks. So I got my center mark for the one right there. So the next thing I'm gonna do, uh, I, I made a center mark for the one end over here. Um, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the center to center distance right here uh, and then I'll make a mark on the wall for that. I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, you want to get the center distance, right? Um, but if I hook my tape measure on the end of that one, just like you see right there, and then if I measure down to the same point on this one, I'll see it's exactly 24 inches. All that's saying is from this point to this point, is the same as the center line of here to the center line of here. So uh, just a little trick there. Uh, so it's 24 inches, so I'm gonna measure and just put another mark on the wall at 24 inches. So the way I do this, you know, I've got the one mark here. I wanna measure 24 inches. Um, I don't ever use the end when I'm measuring on a wall like this. I use some other point like 10. So instead of measuring the 24, since I'm going to start here at exactly 10, because what I like about doing that is I can line the 10 line up exactly with my mark. Um, and I dig precision, right? So now I just go over here and put a mark at 34. Over here, I line it up with the mark that I made, the first mark. Okay, so this is the mark I made on the wall. I'm going to put one of those um, um, drywall anchors in there. Uh, something I want to point out is that uh, um, this piece is what we're going to mount. And, uh, and this particular one has a hole in the center. It's got two holes here. Each, there's actually, they gave you enough screws to do two screws on each one. It does get oriented horizontally like this uh, because the set screw comes in the bottom and hooks right in here. Um, but since I'm going to use uh, one of these more heavy-duty drywall anchors, I'm just going to do one right in the center. Um, if, if I wanted to use maybe those lightweight anchors, I'd do two. Um, but I'm going to use a heavy-duty anchor, so I'm just going to do one. It's another reason to use the, the heavy anchor. 
So I'll just demonstrate how you put this thing in there. Um, this particular anchor is pretty easy to use. You drive it in with a hammer first. So I'm going to put it right on our marker, our center line there, and get it started like this. You drive it in a little ways until these threads are about to hit, and then you uh, put a screwdriver right in here, a Phillips. There you go. Again, this thing is a great, this is a great anchor, holds a ton of weight. All right, so uh, next we'll mount our uh, piece here. Okay, so um, the set screws right here. I went ahead and took my screwdriver and backed it out some, and then uh, there's a there's a little uh, groove right there that goes on the top. So we'll just kind of hook the top in like that, um, and then uh, tighten the set screw from the bottom. Okay, we got the one mounted. It's in there good. Um, just going to go ahead and loosen the set screw on the other one here. All right. Um, so now we'll just push this end in. Okay. And um, hook this one up right here. And there we have it, a nice and sturdy towel, towel bar mounted in my bathroom here. So, um, I know this was super easy. Most people know how to do this, but I thought I'd go through it anyway since I was mounting it in my basement bathroom. Um, so, maybe there was a tip or a trick somewhere in here that, that's useful to you that you didn't know about. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like, and uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and it was maybe useful to you. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys.